Hello guys, welcome to TKG Games videos where we don't post any videos about games. Alright, so I started this channel to actually make videos on games. It was supposed to be with a friend of mine. I suck at making graphics, okay? I admit that. I suck at making graphics and I wanted somebody that was going to help me with the graphics part. And I guess that didn't happen, so I ended up posting Java videos. And now it's probably become a Java channel. But there are certain things that I still do that I would still like to share with the community. And one of the things is uh, using Text Mesh Pro. Uh, just setting the text, for example. Uh, I'm creating tutorials for my younger brother um, because he wants to learn good development. And uh, I got a tutorial from Unity and I've pretty much rewrote the entire scripts because some of the scripts are outdated. Right. Uh, one issue that I had in the past was pretty much using Text Mesh Pro was just setting the text. I know it's pretty easy, right? Just setting the text. That's not something that you would just do off the flick. I mean, the text um, UI element that we normally use is quite easy to use. Um, but why is Text Mesh Pro so much difficult to use? Um, because the way that they actually named the classes. So if you go into Text Mesh Pro, and we can just filter this by typing in text. You're gonna use this a lot. And you can come down here, click on text. Uh, you can see that this is actually two separate classes. All right. Um, normally, if we just use the text mesh pro and we use the text property, it shouldn't give us any errors. But however, it won't display anything. You have to use the text mesh pro u give. All right. If you click on that, and you can just type in find. So it should be control F for that, and then just type in um, let's do set text. All right. So if you go to set text. Uh, you can find uh, set text uh, somewhere down here. So here you can actually do a couple of things. You can parse an input. Uh, there are a few things that you can use to set the text. Um, and a few definitions for the function, right? So obviously we just wanna pass in the text, so this would do. Uh, you can click on it and uh, you can look at the documentation for it, all right? So this is how typically I would use Text Mesh Pro if I literally had no knowledge about it and I've done this before multiple times all right so the best way for me to do it is not just show you guys how to use text mesh pro but to show you guys the text mesh pro library so eventually if you want to use something with text mesh pro uh, you want to go ahead and um, go here and there are a lot of things you can do with text mesh pro I wish they had better uh, documentation all right so with this said and done uh, let's go ahead and visit this script let me close this down so what I've done is I've reproduced one of the Unity's first tutorials. This is gonna be for my little brother and I've rewrote the code for it, okay. Um, but in Unity uh, 2019 beta, which is what I'm currently using right now, uh, you wanna add the text mesh pro package. And I already went ahead and did this in this uh, project here. Uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna use an older uh, uh, project and show you guys how to do that. So. Instead of using an older project, I went ahead and I started recreating another project last night um, on the Rollerball um, tutorial, which is going to be something I'm going to go ahead and rewrite completely again and add more functionalities to it. So let me go ahead and open that up. All right, so what I've done in this tutorial is pretty much just take the items again, I've created a scriptable object, I store the position so that when the other destroyed, you can recreate the objects again from just um, your positions, all right? You can play around with the positions from there. That's something I'm gonna have him do for um, an extra activity. But uh, what you want to do is to add the text mesh per package, you have to go to the, uh, you have to go to edit and go to your uh, project settings. And uh, you have to, uh, Click on Text Mesh Pro here, all right? And this little button is gonna show up and you have to go ahead and import the essentials. All right, if you wanna go ahead and import the examples, that's good. I actually look at the examples a lot of times, so I'm just gonna go ahead and import that. You can delete it after um, if you don't wanna use it. But I do look at the examples sometimes, especially when I'm doing my countdowns and stuff like that. All right, so that's just show you guys how to import uh, the uh, the package so once you're done you should have a TextMate Pro package with all the resources inside of here all right so with that said and done uh, let me close this down and now we're here so we're gonna take a look at the code how to actually create this okay so what you want to do is you want to just create uh, a text mesh pro you um, instance here and give the name it could be private 
it could be public is up to you. If you make it public, you could just drag and drop it there. Um, however, what I did was I just uh, used the find ob uh, object of type and I just passed in text mesh pro uh, you give. Okay. Obviously, there are many ways you can get this back. If you want to use a tagging system, you can pull out everything into an array, search them by tag, and update them that way. If you have multiples of them, you can drag them and drop them if they're public variables. I decided to do it this way because I only had one in there. Okay. Now to set the text, all you have to do is this. So you go down here, you have your text that you want to set, and uh, you just use the variable name, and you put set text. I'm using a string interpolation here, and then passing in the uh, input, right? Which is just gonna be the buttons that they pressed. So with that said and done, let me go back into the project. Now, if I just go ahead and play this, okay? Um, you can press the G, B, R key, and you can see that it gets updated here. Uh, also, I didn't go ahead and I didn't change the text match uh, pro text here. So you guys can see that it's actually a text match pro text, and you guys can see the settings on the uh, right panel here. All right. So guys, this will be it for this tutorial. Uh, it probably took more time to explain, but I will go ahead and add the library uh, for text match pro under the video. So in case you want to learn more about it, uh, feel free to go ahead and read through the recommendations. There's no escape from doing that. Let me just tell you right now. If you want to use the advanced features of TextMesh Pro, you cannot run away from the documentation and the documentation is horrible. Sorry for saying that, but it's true. Um, with that said and done, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.